Hi, my name is Cold Beer, and let's start with Monster Hunter Rise. This is originally a Nintendo Switch game released back in 2021. Now we have this action soaked game on Steam as well, and this version is obviously upgraded to meet our expectations. You will rise to the challenge and become a hunter. Explore brand new maps and use a variety of weapons to take down fearsome monsters. That's what developers say, but I would change the word fearsome to airy fairy because those monsters are anything but fearsome. Although they are beautiful, I can't deny that. Each monster you hunt will provide materials that allow you to create new weapons and armor. You can also upgrade your existing gear so you can go back on the field and hunt even more airier and fairier monsters and earn even better rewards. Of course, all of that is presented in 4K resolution, with ultra-wide monitor support and unlocked frame rate. Even with a discount, the game is a bit expensive, but you can try the free demo version on Steam. Two Point Campus Let me start with the fact that you can play Two Point Campus for free this whole weekend. So here you will build the university of your dreams. Or nightmares, I don't know. Maybe all of your professors will be teaching how to put pineapple in the potato salad. Instead of mayonnaise. Oh, the horror. So don't expect this game to be a serious academic sim. It is as far from serious as your monthly salary is from serious salary. Anyway, here students enjoy a range of wild and wonderful courses. From night school to gastronomy. Where your students will build mouth-watering concoctions like giant pizzas and a normal spice. You will build libraries, hire the best staff from eccentric professors to mad researchers, and watch the academic potential of your students get unlocked. The game is similar to Two Point Hospital and its predecessor, Theme Hospital, that only the oldest of us can remember. Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut This is a stealth-based game, meaning that you can shoot your way through the enemies or sneak up behind them without being traced. Hack systems to retrieve information or use your social skills to extract information from key characters. There are always choices, multiple approaches, multiple paths and multiple tools at your disposal. People on Steam are talking that Deus Ex is really enjoyable, although very linear. But in this instance, the linear aspect is a good thing, because despite the fact that the game is guiding you in your path, it doesn't hold your hand or penis and you are free to approach every situation as you please. And as I've mentioned before, the ways of playing are really numerous and the only limit is your imagination. That also means that everyone without imagination has no limits at all. Let it sink. Yeah, also I can promise that in Deus Ex you will find many amazing music scores, the game has a really exceptional soundtrack which is creating an amazing atmosphere. Far Cry 4 Travel to Himalayas, into the fictional country of Kairat, and of course, try to overthrow the oppressive regime of the dictator in the process. Because, you know, that's what we do, right? Casually traveling around the world, drinking piñatas, and then boom, you are the leader of some separatist movement in the country that you have never even heard of before. And yes, I know what piñata is, I'm just trolling you. Of course, Far Cry 4 is not the newest title of the franchise, but it is still a great game with a great price. The world of Far Cry is really impressive, and alive, with terrain spanning from lush forests to the snow-capped Himalayas. The entire world is teeming with life and deadly encounters. Leopards, rhinos, black eagles and vicious honey badgers. This is a home of untouched wildlife. So every time as you embark on your hunt for resources, know that something may be hunting you as well. Also, because this game uses Ubisoft Launcher, I must say one important thing, because I got a lot of spam in my comment section about this recently. Crazy dudes are spreading false information and are fear-mongering people. Th that is not cool. So the rumor is that Ubisoft is deleting accounts left and right that are inactive for 6 months or more. Yeah, that sounds terrible. And actually, these rules are valid and active for several years now. It's not yesterday's news, you know. But the important fact is that accounts that include purchased PC games are never Ever considered as inactive. So if you have at least one game that you or someone else paid money for, you are safe. For everyone else, who let's say played some free game, never spent money and gathered a lot of stuff in it, you are in danger. Although according to Ubisoft, they have never deleted an account that has been inactive for less than 4 years. One thing that is actually a danger for everyone using a Ubisoft account is deleting your Ubisoft account by yourself. You know, a few drinks too many and you are like, I will delete this virus software for good. And in this way you will lose all the Ubisoft games you bought on Steam. That, my friend, is not cool. Not cool at all. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag Gold Edition 
The game takes place in the first part of the 18th century, when pirates rule the Caribbean and establish their own lawless republic. Corruption, greediness and cruelty are commonplace in every kindergarten and in this lawless republic as well. So here you'll become a charismatic yet brutal pirate captain trained by assassins. You can effortlessly switch between your blades and all new weaponry including four flintlock pistols and dual cutlass swords. You will loot underwater shipwrecks, assassinate Templars in blossoming cities, hunt for rare animals in untamed jungles, search for treasure in lost ruins and do many more other things. A lot of people on Steam are saying that Black Flag is definitely among the best Assassin's Creed games with a vast open world and intriguing life of a pirate. Dead by Daylight this is a multiplayer 4 vs 1 horror game where one player takes the role of the savage killer and the other four players play as survivors, trying to escape the killer and avoid being caught, tortured and killed. Survivors playing third person have the advantage of better situational awareness. You know, when you go near the corner of the house, you can see what is happening without exposing your silly face and the killer plays in first person. Anyway, the survivor's goal in each encounter is to escape the killing ground without getting caught by the killer, something that sounds easy easier than it is, especially when the environment changes every time you play. And if you play as a killer, you must help survivors to escape safely, except not. Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate Demon Hunters A nice title for turn-based game lovers. Here you will lead humanity's greatest weapon, the Grey Knight, against the corrupting forces of chaos in this brutal and fast-paced RPG. Yeah, somehow turn-based can be fast-paced as well. Deal with it. So here you will root out and put a stop to an insidious plot to infect the galaxy with a bloom, an intergalactic cosmic plague capable of rotting worlds into oblivion. Armored with fate, shielded by devotion, your company's very existence is rooted in mystery and forced with mind wipes and executions. He will experience life in the 41st millennium and follow the journey of these elite warriors in a narrative-driven gameplay. Banners of Ruin Another dungeon crawler, RPG, roguelite, deck builder. This time, instead of monsters and humans, we are getting smart medieval themed animal warriors, and you are taking their lead. You'll have six races to explore with unique racial card pools and passives to choose from. You will level up your characters to unlock talent cards and powerful skills that can drastically impact your strategy. Well, that is, if you have one. That is, assuming that you are a smart war leader, true hero, and so on. And you are never doubt yourself you beautiful schmuck. And now subscribe, don't be a digital orphan without a loving channel. Cloudpunk here you will play as a person named Rania. This is your first night working for Cloudpunk, a semi-legal delivery company based in the sprawling city of Nivalis. You go everywhere, from the marrow below to the spires that pierce the grey clouds high above. No delivery job is too dangerous and no one is faster than a Cloudpunk driver. You never ask what's in the package you are delivering, but you know, one day everything went south and suddenly you will have to unravel mysteries in a world of corporate conspiracy, hackers and rogue AI. Great original game. Figment. This is a really weird game, some hybrid between Diablo and Samorost. The developers call it a musical action adventure which is set in the recesses of the human mind. They describe it as a strange and surreal world, a place filled with our deepest thoughts, urges and memories, populated by many voices we hear in our heads. Yeah, except I don't hear any voices in my head and I think it's good. If you do, please visit a doctor, just in case. Well, of course, it depends on what those voices are telling you. For example, you must make potato salad. Well, that is okay. Let them be. Alien Isolation Collection Recently I played Amnesia the Bunker, which copied the idea of Alien Isolation Monster and now I have an urge to play Isolation again, which honestly is way bigger and better game than Amnesia the Bunker. Here you are all alone in a giant space station and a sentient monster is hunting you. You have no guns, you are the prey. Sometimes it can take an hour without an encounter, sometimes you can feel it creeping upon you in the vents, sometimes you just die. And this bundle is an amazing deal. You will get the base game and 7 DLCs for $10 or Euros. The game is absolutely 10 cold beers out of 10 and worth buying even without a discount. Amnesia The Dark Descent 
This is a first-person survival horror game about immersion, discovery and living through a nightmare, an experience that will chill you to the very core. You wake up without much memories and stumble through a narrow corridors as the distant cry is heard. It is getting closer, and you somehow are pretty much sure that there are no actual babies in this castle. You don't know what will you encounter here, but the fact is that the castle is huge and you are not alone. And you have no weapon, you can only hide in the darkness. Funny thing is that the darkness makes you mad. And the light attracts nightmares. This is an absolute lose-lose situation. So in general, if you ever wanted to be an actual protagonist in any Lovecraftian story, Amnesia will do everything it can to make you actually feel the dread. It will make your palms sweaty and the hair on your back will stand up. The game endorses the Lovecraftian trope of madness as you travel deeper and deeper down the cellars and dungeons of an ancient castle. What will you find deep down below? Nothing very nice, I promise. The game is an absolute gem with overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. The Witcher 2 Assassin of Kings Enhanced Edition Everyone knows, and most of us have played the third Witcher, but just a few of us have tried preview spots. Well, I played all of them and I can share my quick insights about part 2. So if you are wondering should you play Assassin of Kings, there is some major guidance for you. If you like the third Witcher because of the open world and fluid combat, you won't find anything similar here. The world is segmented, some areas are more open, some are straight linear and combat is way less satisfying, although it is decent enough to not make you rage all the time. It is an the game released at the same time as Skyrim, but just with a fraction of that budget. But if you like Third Witcher because of the story, writing, humor and deeply developed characters, then yes, the second part can offer a similar experience. I would give the overall scenario 10 cold beers out of 10. I can absolutely recommend it. Also the game has boobs in it. On Steam Assassin of Kings has 90% of positive reviews, left by tens of thousands of people. Basically this game was the moneymaker that helped CD Projekt create a much bigger third part, which is all also heavily discounted. And now, thank you for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!